Hello, welcome back to Moxo Essentials. In this video, we are going to talk about account usage and workflow. Quick disclaimer, any patient information you are going to view in this video is all fictitious and does not represent any client. Once you log into your account, you'll get to the dashboard or landing page of your Moxo account. You can always return to your dashboard by clicking this icon. From this page, you'll be able to do most actions and view the most relevant information. On the top right, you will be able to see the amount of tests left in your inventory, how many credits you have left, and purchase tests. In the two windows below, you'll be able to see the recent clients you've added and also add new clients by clicking the plus client button. On the right, you can see the pending tests. Those are the tests you have assigned but have not yet run. You can run these tests from here by clicking on Invite if it's a remote test or clicking on Test if it's in clinic. To run a test for a new client, the first thing you're gonna do is add a new client. You can start the process from your dashboard, but note this can also be done directly from your client's page where you can view all of your clients. Once you fill out the client's information and click Save, that client will be saved into your account and you can then assign them a test. In order to add a test, you need to click on Plus Test. When you click on that button, a window will open up on the bottom where you can confirm the client's information, choose if this will be a remote test or an in-clinic test, and indicate if the client will be under the influence of any medication or intervention during the test, and finally make sure to click Save. This is true for both new and existing clients. Next, we have the Users page. This is where you can add and view users of your account. Added users will be able to use tests from your account and you will have access to all test results from every user. Now let's head over to the test page. This is where you can see all the tests you've assigned to your clients. Based on their status, you can tell which have been completed and which are waiting to be done. To purchase more tests, make sure to visit your purchases page. To learn more about Moxo, head to the Knowledge Hub. This is where you can learn more about our metrics, how to interpret Moxo reports, and more. And finally, we have the settings page. This is where you can update your information and change your account type. When you wish to log out of your account, simply click the bottom icon. Thanks for tuning in to another Moxo Essentials training video. In this video, we covered account usage and workflow. See you next time.